Fracking has changed the energy environment here in the United States. Might it make the same difference in China? Liam Denning from Heard on the Street is here to tell us about an interesting deal that portends Hi. perhaps some um, uh, more fracking uh, far in, the, in the Far East. What's going on? Right, yeah. So uh, Schlumberger, which is the biggest oil field services company in the world, announced a deal uh, this morning to buy 20% of a small Chinese uh, oil services player called Anton Oil. It, it, it looks like a blip, right? But yeah, it's I mean, not. It's, and it's, tell us why it's, it's tiny not. monetary terms, but it's interesting for a couple of reasons. One is, uh, outside of the U.S., China is believed to be the biggest repository of shale gas reserves in the world. In fact, last year, the U.S. Department of Energy said it had more shale gas than the U.S. and Canada combined. So oil field services companies are very keen to get in there, particularly as drilling in the U.S. is starting to come off amid low prices. So it makes sense for Schlumberger to try and buy into uh, a a company there so that it can deepen its relationships, it can get in on the action. Um, but I think there's actually more to this deal than just that. Okay, well tell us what that is. Like. And it really boils down to some comments that were made by Schlumberger's uh, former chief executive at an analyst day last year. He mm. was asked very pointedly, you know, that, that same old question, kind of what keeps you up at night, what makes you paranoid? And he, you know, he very qu quite clearly said the Chinese make him paranoid. And the but every for, CEO would say that, Liam. Well, so why is this different? Well, I think with energy, it really makes sense for him because he, he, he was puzzled as to why, when you look at China's energy industry, they've taken all their old oil and gas companies and they've turned them into these giant companies like PetroChina, Sinopec, which are now out there and they compete very effectively with the Western oil majors. They've done the same in renewable energy and mm -hmm. totally changed that market, turn it, turned it on its head. So we've seen and, that in solar panels, yes. Right, and he couldn't work out why haven't they done the same in oil field services? Why haven't they taken all their expertise, put it together into one company, which could then go out and compete with Schlumberger and Halliburton? And that's why we see it, right? Because, because here, Right, you see a scenario, so many U.S. companies now are limited by, say, the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, right. which limit payments to people who might be able to facilitate business, right. and we're not saying that and all Chinese companies do might do that, but frankly, no, but uh, the clearly, rules, of, rules of engagement are different. Yeah, China will play in areas like Sudan that U.S. companies will not play in. Um, and, it, you know, it seems to me that China obviously does have a lot of capability, and when it decides to go into an industry in a big way, it does tend to turn it on its head. I mean, solar, solar power is, is, a, is a great example. In the last few years, you know, that industry has been, in some ways, just devastated by the the entry of Chinese yes. competition. All right, William, we got to cut it there. 